With this new profound joy, this new awakening of creative freedom and personal power, fear, lack, limitation, all of the human limitations that have been set on our economic and ecological and cultural present day reality are no longer a part of your, of your thought. They're no longer a part of your feelings. So the process of manifesting, of creating things into your life, of becoming a creator of your own reality, takes on a series of steps. And that may look differently to everybody and it may take longer and it may be experienced or felt differently, but to a core, there is a whole series of steps that we can create, that we can follow to awaken our gift, to awaken our personal power, to create a life vision. So the first thing we need to do in creating and manifesting what we truly want is to hold a conscious intention to see what it is that is calling forth to behold in our lives. Second is to focus on its realness. We have to, to focus on what the form is that we're creating. We're bringing spirit into matter and we're materializing spirit and form. So we have to feel into the realness and we have to think, we have to feel, we have to see, we have to act as if we have already created this in our lives. I've as if it is already there, we have received it, we have accomplished it. So you have to radiate in that vibration. You have to align yourself in that vibration that it is complete, that is in your life, and you are now experiencing it and sharing it with yourself and with others. And the fourth step, the one that most people often do not get to accelerate, is you must take action. So you must align a series of goals and steps that are felt from the heart, are felt from the higher consciousness and the higher self, and aligned with actual steps you're gonna take. So action is the most important thing. It's also the, the final, the fourth step in manifesting and creating your reality. You have to find a way to make it physically show up in your life. So once again, you have to have a conscious intention that's what's best for you, what's wanting to come forth in your life, what's, what will serve your highest purpose. Because often that which is not our highest purpose cannot even be accomplished, cannot even be brought into our lives. So now the universal laws or the, the spiritual laws of nature are an unchanging, unwavering series of physical principles that basically allow the whole universal, the whole cosmic spectrum to unfold. It deals with physics, with gravity, it deals with consciousness, it deals with how biological life literally forms on different planets. It is the way the entire universe ceases to exist, allows itself to evolve and create. It is undying and it is unborn. And we can tap into these universal laws to create success and health, to create things into our lives that are needed for either survival or psychological needs, or we can bring these laws into our lives and align with them to create a deeper sense, a deeper sense of transformation that we can offer as divine service back to the planet, back to our local community, back to our nation, through innovation, through creativity. A lot of people seem to struggle so hard to align themselves with the, the prosperity and the wealth consciousness that they may see around them. And that's because they're not aligning with themselves with the source of the universal intelligence and the laws, the physical laws that create our universe. So they are actually swimming against the current 
of natural reality. And they have taken on the, they're trying to go upstream against the flow of consciousness, the flow of the river, the own, their own reality that they have created. And it's against the universal reality of source, of intelligence. And so you may be working longer hours at work and not seeing the rewards. Or you may have had several failed businesses. Regardless of what your personal, internal experience has been, the universal laws are there unwavering, undying, and they're ready to be tapped into to align yourself with your intentions, with the life vision you would like to create, and to see those manifested at a quicker rate, to see them come through, the synchronicities, the people will come into your life, the ones that you are calling in, will come into your life when you start to align yourself with the principles. So what are these universal laws, these natural laws of the universe, these success principles? Well, let's take a minute to look at some of them. And most of uh, everything I've been talking about is deeply formatted in a series of free ebooks that have a profound way to, to examine them and a series of broken down charts and graphs as well and as well as imagery and beautiful design that gives it a more cohesive, grounded, organized sense of working with the infinite, working with the eternal ways of the universe. So it has been my mission in this lifetime to completely ground the cosmic wisdom, to bring forth the Akashic records all that is known, all that is internal and external, all that is eternal and infinite, and to bring them into a grounded human experience that we can apply to our own personal development, growth, transformation, and power, to a bigger vision of society and a future culture based on thriveability and success and health for all, as well as with the divine, the universal, expansive, all-intelligent field of ever-deepening transformation, that which gives birth to dying stars, supernovas, expanding the universe, that which causes gravitational collapses and black holes, that which is so profoundly powerful and often peaceful and often violent at times, the universe itself is all about an unwavering, infinite series of death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. There is no beginning, there is no end. There is only the sound, the OM, the sound of eternal life. So, that could be confusing for some, yay? Yes? Uh, you agree, I bet. So where do we begin? Well, let's begin with how the universe is created and unfolds. Not the story of you know, how God created the universe in seven days or this or that, but the physical, deep, unwavering, scientific and spiritual, metaphysical and physical ways that all ancient cultures, all future cultures, all societies, all species off of this planet Earth are most likely aware of and they use it to create things like free energy, enlightened societies, democratic constitutions, high integrity and honoring policy and government officials, true innovative leaders, deep, heartfelt, harmonized, balanced, thriving communities and neighborhoods. These are all crucial elements and they all unfold under a model of the universal laws that are there for us to align with. So let's take a look at some of them. 